mental practice or visualization is simply using your imagination to practice your sport totally in your mind. Now you want to do this because whatever you create in your mind, you also create in reality. Don't believe me? It is a studied fact. Check this out, what one of the most famous scientists of our time, Albert Einstein, said long ago. Imagination is more powerful than knowledge. So here's how mental practice works. You see, the mind and the nervous system do not know the difference between a vividly imagined event and a real one. And as far as the mind is concerned, it's all the same. If you practice perfect performance, performances vividly, beautifully detailed in your mind, then you are basically teaching your power mind what it is you want. Jamie Paulinetti, cyclist who has won every cycling race in America at least once, said, quote, limitations live only in our mind. But if we use our imaginations, our possibilities become limitless. I can't stress enough how powerful your imagination is and how important it is to take the time to actually use it. In fact, mental practice can be almost as good as real practice and sometimes better if you do it right. Now, just to be clear, imagination practice or mental rehearsal, mental practice, it's all the same as visualization. Now, you know, I know you must hear that word visualization a lot in sports from your coach and sometimes professional players use it. Now, just because some people call it visualization, don't think that you have to visualize or see yourself doing your sport in your mind to get the maximum benefits out of mental practice. Here's what I mean. Some people are just not as visual as others. So we can use our imagination or our thinking in our own way to do mental practice because however you do it is perfect for you. Watch this clip of a very famous athlete, Tiger Woods. I can never control it. I mean, I can understand. I couldn't fathom someone saying, you know, visualize the golf shot. Well, I visualize, I see this ball going every which way. My creative mind will never see me a golf, a golf shot doing this or doing this. My mind would not love me to do that. It's going all over the place. So he said, why don't you just feel it? Use, use your hands, use your fingers, use your, your body awareness to, to harness your creativity that way. When you do mental practice, what you want to do is imagine or think in your own way your best performances and, and, and your best skills using pictures, your inner voice, sounds, thoughts, or feelings in your mind. It's just like daydreaming and you can do it with your eyes open or closed. The key is the more real you can make it, the better it will be.